okay so today we are starting from the java interface what is a interface basically that interface is like a class interface is like a class the way we are declaring a class in the same way we will declare the interface also like just remember what is the syntax like just look at this class main just because we are declaring a class that's why i have written that class when i will declare the interface i will write instead of writing class we will write the interface and after that like the every class there should be the unique name and there is where there is that naming having some rule that you need to start with the capital letter you cannot use space you cannot use special character a class but in the time when we will declare the interface we will use instead of writing class we will write interface and what is the difference between a class and an interface <laughs> बॉडीज is like a class but it is like a abstract class and what is that abstract class can anyone just tell me what is that abstract class is hello abstract, is abstract, abstract class is uh, nothing but is a kind means content only abstract method those method have no, uh, only definition not an implementation basically a abstract class and that abstract class we cannot create object for the abstract class and an abstract may class can contain a abstract method like the interface is like a class if someone is asking you what is an interface you can directly say that interface is like a class but it is like a abstract class why it is like a abstract class like the abstract class you cannot create the object like the inter same the interface for the interface also you cannot create the object like the abstract class suppose you have declared a class as a abstract class after that that you have declared the class attribute that time when you have declared a class attribute or a instance variable that time we all know that without creating the object for the class we cannot access that class attribute or the instance variable okay but if the, that is a abstract class we cannot create for object for the abstract class then how can i access that particular local way that instance variable how how can i access that instance variable when that variable we are declaring in the class block by doing the inheritance we need to inherit the class that abstract class by any other class then only we can access that particular instance variable like the same interface also like the same interface we cannot create the object for the interface so when we are declaring we if we declare any instance variable that time without creating an object we cannot access that so we need to inherit that basically interface is like that same and a interface can contain also not only the abstract class we can an interface can con can contain a abstract method and what is an abstract method abstract method means that method you are declaring that method should not have any body that body you have to provide where you need to provide you need to provide the uh, you know where by the in the in the subclass that class or that class is inheriting the that particular interface under that class you need to provide the method body abstract method body look at this how you can declare an interface interface like the class you need you are declaring in the time that class you are declaring class and then you need to give a name like the same you just need to write that interface and then you need to give a name to your interface because that every variable every method that that every variable every method should have a name unique name like the interface also you should have a unique name after that like the same for the class we are starting the body same we are for the interface also we are starting the body here by using the curly braces starting from here and ending at here and in between the body of the interface we are declaring abstract method abstract method how we are declaring public void animal sound and look at this why this is an abstract method that more method does not have any body like again public void run another method that is an abstract method to access interface method the interface must be implemented by another class 
with the implements keyword instead of extends the body of the interface method is provided by the implement class basically how can i now that method does not have any body the two method i have declared that one is the animal sound one another one is the run method that method we have declared how can i access that until and unless we are not providing the body we cannot access that properly because if we are not if we are not providing the body that time that particular method will not return you anything because whenever you are calling that any particular method either it is an uh, that as in a, it is an abstract method or it is a normal method or a static method or a public method whatever the type of method you are declaring until and unless you are not providing the body to your method whenever you are calling your method that particular method will not return you anything because whenever I will call that particular method uh, using the particular method name that will return whatever the content, whatever the data is that you have passed into your body, into your method body that will be returned. But if you are not declaring the body, that means that method, if you, you can call that method, but either you will get an error or you will not get any output because you haven't declared anything. So, just because this is an abstract method that two method are the abstract method that's why we need to, here we cannot provide the body here we cannot provide the body where i can provide the body we need to provide the body by in the in the subclass that class is implementing the interface property to access look at this look at this line to access that interface method the interface must be implemented now we are doing the inheritance with the implement keyword. Why that implements keyword? In the previous session, we have talked about that. Have you um, uh, remember that? Can you remember that? Why I'm using that implements keyword? Hello? Can anyone tell me why I'm using that implements keyword instead of extends keyword? Actually, it's a property of interface. That's why you use the implements keyword to yeah. access another that was not a right answer hello anyone can tell me why are we are writing that increments keyword instead of extent keyword with the increments and the using the implements keyword and using the extent keyword we can do the inheritance but why we are using the increments here not extends here in the previous session we talked about that anish because we declare only method names inside the interface which which will get implemented that means we will provide a method body to the declared methods that's why we use uh, keyword implements instead of extends no, no. Very simple answer. And who have joined Realme 9 Pro 5G? Can you rename yourself? Realme 9 Pro 5G. Someone have joined the name that Realme 9 Pro 5G. Please rename yourself. Give you a proper name. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Yeah. And uh, Manjunath Chapar, Pranay Garai, any, anyone can. Just This is a simple thing because, and this is a simple thing and very important thing. In terms of the inheritance, you have to remember that. Okay. Let me tell you. Look at this. This is an interface. Let me let me coming to the example. That is example. Interface animal. We have declared under the interface. We have declared two abstract method. One is the animal sound. Another one is the sleep. And that two method does not have any body. That body we will provide by using by in the subclass. That means subclass means that class is implementing the property of the interface. Look at this. This is an inter animal is an interface, and that class pig is implementing the animal class animal interface. Now, now notice this is an interface and this is a class. That means a class is inheriting the property of an interface. Just because that class is a different thing, interface is a different thing. We are working with the two different things. That's why we are using that implements keyword. Class is extending the property of an interface. 
if that p class is extending the any property of our any class that time we can use that extend instead of writing implements we can use that extend keyword but here we are using implements keyword because we are inheriting the property of our interface to another class we are working with the class and an interface and we are inheriting the property of an interface to a class that's why we are using that implements keyword if we are inheriting a property of an interface to the another interface or if that animal is a class and we are inheriting the property to the pig class that means we are working with the same thing yeah. either interface to interface or class to class that time we can use that extends keyword just because we are working with the two different thing that's why we are using that implements keyword you need to remember that that simple thing but it's a very important thing okay now here after inheriting the property into the pig class we need to provide the body because animal interface that is that pig is the subclass of animal interface now public void animal sound we are providing the body system error just because this, that method is a void type void type means in our java there are eight primitive data types you can return any particular type of data into your method that means in, instead of writing that void you can write any data data type name integer string that time when you are mentioning any particular data type here that time that animal sound can return only that particular type data type data if you are mentioning integer that means animal sound method can only return you an integer type data okay an integer type data only can return that particular method because you are return type you have given that is an integer or a string but when you are using that void that means that method can return you any any type of data a string in any type of data so system route dot print ln into that method body we are writing that particular message and now another method was sleep again we are providing the body and this is also a void method so we are providing body and we are writing some message into that and Look at this. That class pig is implementing the animal interface, but that pig class does not have the main method. So another class we are declaring class main, and into that main class we are providing that main method that is public static void main string args. And under the method body, we are creating the object of pig class. So I can access that animal sound method and that sleep method because that animal sound and the sleep that property of that particular interface. that is that we have inherited to the pig class so now the pig class is the owner of those two method so if i am making an object if i am making we are creating an, an object for that particular pig class using the object name if i call that two method then we can access those two method so we are doing the same thing public static void main main method we have declared under the main method we are creating the object for the pig class so i can access those two method that one is the animal sound one is the sleep method so my pig is the object name we all know the syntax class name class name object name equals to new pig class constructor now my pig dot animal sound using the object name we are calling what we are calling the animal sound method and again you are using the object name we are calling that sleep method this is basically the interface is that particular part is clear to all of you now Yes, sir. Okay. okay everyone do practice that particular program okay sir you know what just everyone please don't try to copy paste the thing just write see the syntax that we have declared an interface after that we have declared the method try to see the syntax and don't copy paste it try to do it yourself that what i am done i have declared an interface under the interface body we have declared two abstract method Okay, let me declare to abstract method and don't look at the screen. Again, a class we have declared and that into that class we have implemented that interface. Under the body, we we are providing the interface body. That is sorry, in abstract method body. After declaring the method body, declare another class and under that class declare the main method. Under the main method, declare create the object for the pig class and then using the object name call that two method. Try to do it yourself. Don't again and again. Then just copy pasting it. Just looking at your screen and you are just line by line, word by word. You are copying, copying, and copy pasting. That don't do that thing. Try to remember the syntax. How to declare the method? How to provide the body? And try to do it yourself. If anywhere you are 
forgetting that then only you look at your skin and then copy paste it
Is it done, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. I will, I'm going to the next topic. Now, notes and on interface. Like abstract class, interface cannot be used to create object. And in the example above, it is not possible to create an animal object in main, uh, my main class. Interface method do not have a body. The body is provided by the implement class. On implementation of an interface, you must override all its methods. Interface methods are by default abstract and public. That means interface method by default abstract and public. Interface attributes are by default public, static, and final. And interface cannot contain a constructor because why that constructor? Constructor is not, it is that class can, con can contain a constructor. And what is that constructor? Tell me anyone, what is the constructor? Hello, what is the constructor? So constructor is same as the class name. Sir. Yeah, constructor is constructor. The with the class name. But this is the interface. But this is the interface that constructor is a special type of method that having a name with the same as class name. But so this is not a class, so there is no constructor. Why and when to use interface? To achieve security, hide certain details, and only show the important details of the object or, or the interface. Java does not support multiple inheritance. A class can only inherit from one super class. However, it can be achieved with interface because the class and implement multiple interface node to implement multiple interface, separate them with a comma. Basically, what is an inheritance? That the inheritance we have done, that class and uh, a class is inheriting a property of a another class. Suppose, suppose multiple inheritance is what? Suppose you have three class, A, B, C, three class, and another one class you have D. And now you want to implement the property of A, B, and C, that three class property you want to inherit together in the D class. That means D is inheriting the property of A, B, C together, three class together. Okay, in the previous example that we have learned, one class or one interface property we are inheriting to the another class or our interface. Single class property we are inheriting to the single class. Right, but when you are you want to inherit three, four, five class property together in a single class, that means A class, B class, and C class. That three class property you want to inherit together only in the single class that is in the D class. That is called multiple inheritance, and that multiple inheritance it is not possible in Java with the class. Multiple inheritance, if someone is asking that multiple inheritance, can I achieve multiple inheritance in Java? That time your answer should be, we cannot achieve multiple inheritance in Java with the class. We can achieve multiple inheritance of interface. Using the interface, we can achieve that multiple inheritance, but the, with the class, we cannot. Suppose that A class, B class, and C class, that three class property you want to inherit to the D class. All the all other A, B, C, D, all other class that you can't do. But if that A, B, and C that is an interface, that time you can do that multiple inheritance. Multiple interface. Look at this multiple interface. Two commas. Interface first name. Under that first name interface, we have declared an abstract method. Interface method of the abstract method. Interface second interface. Again, another interface we have declared public void my other. Now, class demo class implements. Look at this. That two interface property, that two interface having the first interface having a method. That method name is my method. Another interface is second interface having a method with my, that name is a my other method. Now, that first interface and the second interface, that two interface property, that means that two interface, whatever the property, whatever the variable, whatever the method, you have declared into that in that uh, into that uh, particular two interface that, that you want to inherit to a single class. Look at this class demo class. After declaring two interface and each and every interface, we have declared an abstract method. Now we are declaring a class, that class name is the demo class. And Again, we are using the implements keyword. Why we are using the implements keyword? The demo class is the class, and that second interface, first interface, those are the not the class, those are the interface. So we are working with the different thing, interface and the class together. 
So we are using that implements keyword and together we are inheriting the property. Look at this into the demo class. We are inheriting the property of two interface, first interface and the second interface. Two interface property we are inheriting to that single class that is called multiple inheritance. And that just and we are inheriting the property, the two interface property we are inheriting. That time we need to separate them with the comma. We need to separate them to, uh, interface with the comma. Now, same thing. That curly braces we are starting here. Public void my method. Look at this. After inheriting that, that two interface property, the demo class is became the owner of those two methods. My method and the my other method, right? My method and my, my other method. So the demo class is the subclass now. So where I need to provide into the demo class, we need to provide that abstract method body. So we are providing the abstract method body, public void my method, system order println, some text, and public void my other method. Again, we are providing the body. And rest of the thing are the same. Again, we are uh, we are declaring another class. Into that class, we are declaring providing that main method. Under the main method, we are declaring the object for the demo class. So I can using def. So using the demo class object name, we can access or call that that two method. So we have declared, we have created the object and using the object name, we are calling that to method. That is the example of multiple inheritance. Is that part clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, execute that example. Uh, complete that part, then tell, let me know. I will scroll it down.
डांसर So the next topic is the Java enums. What is that enums? An enum is a special class that represents a group of con constants, unchangeable variables like final variable. That means a enum is what? Enum is a special class that represents a group of contents. And that content should be the final like the final variable using the final variable if I am any variable we are declaring as final that means that particular final variable we cannot change it or overwrite it that enum class is a special class that content that whatever the data whatever the content that enum class is containing that all the content are by default final to create enum use the enum keyword instead of class or interface and separate the contents with the comma note that this would have uppercase letter look at this example instead of writing the when we are declaring any class or any, any interface instead of writing that class or the interface just because this is an enum class you need to write that enum keyword then you need to give a name to your enum class any name and So enum, so I have given a name to that enum class. That name is label. And here we are starting the curly braces. Here we are starting the curly braces and we are providing some contents and that contents you are providing that should be in the uppercase. That is written here. Unchangeable variable like the final variable and enum keyword is they should be in uppercase. Low, medium, high, three contents we are passing into that enum class now. 
what we are doing how you can access you can access enum constants with the dot syntax level my where that equals to level dot medium look at uh, just a minute now what it is look at this example this is the complete example after declaring three content three content into that enum class public static void main string rgs that main method we have declared under the main method what we are doing level my where equals to level dot medium that means my where is the kind of variable you can say level my where my under into that my where we are declaring level dot medium from the level enum class we are picking up that medium into that my where whenever i will call that particular my where variable that my where variable it will return you that particular medium content that you can that's where you can return that this is the enum class is that this is a simple thing is that what clear that enum class yes sir okay execute yes, that sir. execute that Done, sir. Huh? Done, everyone. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it done? Now, next topic is a in a in a switch statement. Look at the this the same way you need to declare the enum class enum level enum that keyword enum keyword you need to write after that you need to give to give a name to your enum class then you are you are declaring some contents that should be in the upper case after that public class main another class we are declaring and into that public static void main public static void main string args level my pair equals to level dot medium that means that under into that my pair we are declaring that medium medium contents and just using the switch case switch and in that place of the parameter that switch is a method one kind of method into that you can say that switch is a case switch and within that round braces we are passing that my pair and into that my pair we have declared that medium case 
লো সিস্টেমের আউটডোর প্রিন্ট পেলেন লো লেভেল ব্রেক কেস মিডিয়াম সিস্টেমের আউটডোর প্রিন্ট পেলেন মিডিয়াম লেভেল ব্রেক কেস হাই সিস্টেমের আউটডোর প্রিন্ট পেলেন হাই লেভেল ব্রেক দ্যাট মিন্স হোয়েন এভার ইউ উইল এক্সিকিউট দ্যাট হোয়ে দ্যাট মাই ভ্যার উই হ্যাভ পাস্ট হেয়ার দ্যাট মিন্স হোয়েন এভার দ্য ভ্যালু অফ দ্যাট মাই ভ্যার মিডিয়াম উইল বি ম্যাচড দ্যাট কেস মিডিয়াম দ্যাট উইল রিটার্ন ইউ দ্যাট মিডিয়াম লেভেল ইফ ইউ ইনস্টেড অফ রাইটিং দ্যাট মিডিয়াম ইফ ইউ আর রাইটিং দ্যাট হাই হোয়েন এভার ইউ উইল ইট উইল গেট দ্যাট হাই কেস দ্যাট হাই ইট উইল রিটার্ন ইউ দ্যাট হাই লেভেল দ্যাট সুইচ কেস ইউ আর রিমেম্বার রিমেম্বারিং না হ্যালো হ্যালো यस सर सेम दैट स्विच केस इज दैट लूप थ्रू एन इनम फॉर लेवल माय वेट दैट इज एन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लूप इट इज कैन इवन जस्ट से दैट हेलो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लूप इज दिस लेवल माय वेट इनटू दैट लेवल माय इनटू दैट फॉर इट सर या दिस इज एन फॉर इट लूप सो इन द प्रीवियस दैट इनम यू आर पिकिंग अप एनी पर्टिकुलर वन डेटा that either low or medium or high whatever the data you are passing into that my bad data variable that whenever you are calling that my bad variable it will return you that particular one but if you want to return all the data that you have passed into your enum class and what is that for, for it loop and what is that for level my bad this is the symbol that column is the symbol of for it loop level dot values level dot values dot values is a method that is a predefined method using that using that values method you can pick up all the values from the enum class and here system allow the print ln my var you are calling that means it will return you all the data that if you example of that loop through an enum that example if this if you want to execute that one first of all declare under the main method you can write that for it loop for loop first of all write uh, write that one and let me know i will scroll it down to the that particular for each part then you can do the for each using the for each loop you can pick up all the data from that enum class done sir are you, are you getting the output yes sir okay look at this the enum type has a values method which returns an array of all enum count constants the method is useful when you want to look through the constants of any method in java for the enum class when that means it is it will that values method will pick up all the values from the enum class now the difference between enum and class and enum can just like a class 
have attribution method the only difference is that enum constants are public static and final unchangeable cannot be overridden and enum cannot be used to create objects and it cannot extend other classes and enum class like the same look at the enum class we cannot create the object for the enum class and that we that it cannot an enum class cannot extend another class that means we can that enum class cannot inherit it and inherit another class property why and when to use that enum use enums when you have values that you know are not going to change like month days days colors no those kind of suppose you are having some values you are having some data that are the unchangeable data that you know that will be the same that kind of data if you want to pass that you can pass into the enum class now now the next topic is the java user input scanner what is that java user input scanner suppose we are in the previously we are declaring any variable with that we are declaring the values as well and that values we are deciding suppose you have created a form suppose you have created a form and or you are you have created a program that is if your age is less than 18 that means you are not eligible if your age is greater than 18 that then only you are eligible now in between that you are checking that condition and that age you want to pick up from the user you are telling the user give that give uh, input your age then i will judge that you are eligible or not now you will not decide what is the age suppose someone some user is coming and you will you don't know the age that time you want to take the input from the user you are asking the user what is your age so user is saying that my age is 20 that input if you want to take from the user that you can do using the scanner class scanner is a class like in the java there are lots of class lots of package lots of methods are already been created by java those classes those methods are not created by us basically that in the previous example in the enum class there is a method that is values what is the what is the purpose of that values method that values is predefined method we haven't declared that method using the values method in from the in enum class we can pick up all the data right that will indicate when you are using the values method that will indicate your values from the enum class that is a predefined method like the java having a having some predefined class also like the scanner class that scanner class is used to get user input and it is find in the java.util package in the package what is let me tell you have we learned the package part and still it is that package part is pending hello done sir they are done that means you can understand that better that package is what package is like a folder suppose in your computer you have created separate separate folder for the separate separate language movies for the hindi movies for the english movies for the bengali movies for the south indian movies so in the different different folder you have created for the different different language and into the particular each and every language movies in type of movies you have put it into the particular particular folder that will help you to find out if you are if you are looking for some english movies that time you can directly go to that english movie folder and you can choose from and choose anyone from the particular movies. If you are not separating them with a different different folder with a different different language name, that if you are putting that in a single folder, all the Bengalis, Hindi, English, South Indian, whatever the language or movies you have, you have put it together into a single folder. That time, what will happen? That will increase your complexity. That time, you need to after entering into that particular folder where you have put it all your all the language all type of language movies that time from the all the movies you need to find it out and it will quite difficult to find but if you are creating a folder for the different different language that time as per your need if your need is a bengali movies then you can directly go to the bengali folder if your need is a south indian movies that you can then you can directly go to the south indian movies folder 
this is where the, that is basically it is became easy so the package is like the same package you can create yourself also when we are working in the we are working in the eclipse or the netbeans or the whatever the id you are using in the time first of all we need to create a package right under the package we are creating the class we are declaring the methods in the java also there are lots of predefined packages there that package are created by java we haven't created those packages those package created by java and into that package there are lots of classes basically the class lots of classes here we are working with the scanner class and that scanner class is the predefined class that class is created by java and that class is available where that class is available in the java.util package and that java.util that package name that package also created by java that means java.util and the scanner that package and this class both are create both are the created by java we haven't created that and that scanner class having its own feature using the scanner class you can take the input from the user using the scanner class you can take the input from the user so user can give the input by using their keyboard by using the system using the scanner class you can ask your user to give the input now that scanner class is in where in the java.util package to use the scanner class create an object of the phone in the scanner class documentation in our example we will use the next line method which is used to retrieve forget the theory come into the example that's that java dot that scanner is a class which is available in the java dot util package a different class in the different package that when you are working where you are creating your own java classes any class like here class main we have created that is a different class that scanner is a different class that main that class main that class you have created that package you have created under that package that class main is there but java.util is not part of your own package that is the part that is a predefined package and that scanner is the part of that java.util package that means just because this is a separate package that separate class that class scanner class is the is in the separate package and that time if you want to use that scanner class until and unless you are not importing that particular package you are not able to use that scanner class so first of all your need is you need to import your package import that package then only you can import the scanner class and how i can do that just using that in just declaring the class just before declaring the class first of all you need to import that package with the class so we are importing import keyword using using the import keyword you are importing that java.util package and then dot and then from the java.util package you are picking up any particular class that is a scanner class you know what why java under the java.util package there are lots of predefined classes there into the java.util package but we don't want to use those classes there are many classes are there but we don't want to use those classes so we want to use any particular one so which one i want to use i want to use that scanner class why because i want to take the input from the user so our need is the scanner class. So using the import keyword, we are importing the package. Then from the package, we are importing any particular class that is a scanner class. Now, now we can use that. How? In another time, now that class main, the class we have declared, that name is main. Under the class name main, we are declaring the main method that is public static void main string here. Now that scanner is a different class, main is a different class until and unless if i want to use that scanner class into the main class then how can i use that using the object we can do that without creating the object we cannot use that another class to that class so we are creating the object for that scanner class scanner my object is the object name equals to new keyword scanner class constructor scanner is a class that means it have a constructor scanner class constructor and what is that constructor constructor is a method special type of method having the same name with the class so construct is a method that means that method what is the sign of the method that round braces here is the round braces and 
in the method we can pass the parameter where in between the round bracket here we are not passing the parameter basically we are writing that system dot in why that system dot in if someone is asking you because user will give the input from by using their system that's why that system dot in so the difference the in the time when you are creating the object for the scanner class a little bit different that is under the scanner class constructor you need to write that system dot in rest of the object creation syntax is the same first of all the class name then you need to give your object name then equal to the new keyword then the scan the class constructor and that under that constructor that round basis just you need to write one extra thing that is system dot in now the scanner class object creation part is completed now we all know whenever i will write the system dot the print element it will print the exact one that exact whatever the you are writing it into that double quotes it will be printed in your screen as it is why i am writing that one after creating the object we are writing basically we are giving the instruction to the user enter user name that will be printed in your screen so user and user can understand when i need to what i need to give enter user name so string user name equals to my obj dot next time what is that user name we are writing that enter user name that means user need to give its own name that name we can write using and that if i am writing the name that means this is not the data the data will not be the integer type not be the float type not be the double type or the long it can be the only a string type data because that we in the in our name we use that a b c d we don't use that one two three four five so we are writing we are declaring a string type data string data type we have named that user name what is that user name it is a variable name basically this line we are declaring a simple variable with some doing with doing some extra thing what we are declaring a variable how we can declare a variable first of all variable data type we need to mention variable name we need to give so data type i have given string the variable name i have given user name any name you can give now equals to in the place of the particular value in the previously we are giving like string user name equals to without writing any particular value what we are writing we are passing the object name for the scanner class here my obj is the scanner class dot next line is another one method next line is the method predefined method why next line that just because this is a string data type you have mentioned that's why you need to write that next line method if you are writing here integer that time you need to write that next int method if it is a float type data next float if it is a double next double only for the string only you need to write that next line method so what one doing data type a variable we are declaring string type variable we are the data type we have mentioned because into that particular variable we want to store the string type data because user names would be in the is that name we use in the string type the data type of name of is string type so we are passing string type data so user can pass value to that variable as a string data my obj we are passing in the place where we are we should pass the value in the instead of writing any particular value we are referring to the object name of the scanner class why because using the scanner class we can uh, user can give the input so my obj dot obj that is the object name for the scanner class dot just because it is a string for the string you need to pass that next line method now system route but print element user name is that within the double quotes we are writing concatenating with i am calling that user name i am calling that user name why because into that user name we are passing the scanner class that means we are passing the scanner class means user will give the input what about the data user will pass or user will give that data will stored in the place of the value of user name what about the data will be passed by the user that will be the value for the user name variable so if i am calling that user name variable that time we can get the data that user have given okay so system dot print and user name that is the message plus we are doing the concatenation user name we are calling that is the data the whatever the data user will give the input 
I can get it by calling the variable name. That is the scanner class object. That scanner class. Is the scanner class clear to all of you? Or anyone having any issue? Clear, yes, sir. Yes, sir, clear. Okay, execute that example. Done, sir. Everyone done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is the input type. In the example above, we have with other type. Look at the table bit. Next boolean. This is a boolean value. Close code value. Next boolean value. Next line on the string value. Next long long value. Next short short value. Basically, only for the string, instead of writing the string, it should be the next line. Okay. That's here. Here. That's in the Place of the value we are passing a method with the object name of the scanner class next line just because it's a string if it is a boolean then next boolean means for the next thing so for the next code like the same only for the string that should be the next line look at this same thing we have imported the class with the package java.ut package with the scanner class class name public static void main declared uh, created the scanner class object so it writing some passing some message with the system router only the declared is a string so next line, 
integer age equals to my obj back look at this this is a next next int just because the data type is age data type is integer so i am writing the method as next int double salary equals to the data type of salary is double equals to my obj dot next double so see we are calling name age and salary so we are getting basically the this is this example is for the different different data type if you are using uh, that integer you need to use that method next in method if your data type is double that time you need to use a double data type so just in the table one two three having eight different different methods only the different is the data type name next by for the by value next double for the double value next for the total value next for the double like this you need to use that uh, use the proper method in the place of that use the object name with the scanner cross object name you need to use the proper method with matching with your data type that is example is for that okay so that was the last topic we are not going forward anymore in the next session we will start from the java date and time okay okay so okay, everyone just let me in the let me know in the to, today's session anyone having any issues that you have start or no issues sir no issues no issues thank you sir and let me share me over share the attendance link to you guys thank you